What is up, everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of the Crack a Pack series because, for the first time ever, uh, and in fact, the first time I've ever opened a pack of this, even on or off camera, it's a pack of unglued. Uh, this is going to be really interesting. Obviously, this is one of the three joke sets that Wizards has produced. Uh, this was actually the first and I believe the smallest by a long margin. Uh, but essentially, this is just a spoof on the entire uh, game at that time. A lot of really silly stuff going on here. If you have been around for a few years, you probably remember Unstable, which was sort of the third iteration. In between, we had Unhinged, uh, which was also very, very good. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting one. I don't even know if this was made to draft. I have no idea. Uh, I should have looked that up, I suppose, before we uh, open this pack, but I just didn't. So we're going to see what we can do. I don't know if we'll get a we'll do the whole draft thing or not, but we will go through every card uh, as if we are going to draft and maybe we can figure something out here. So our first card here, Prismatic Wardrobe. It is one white mana for a sorcery. Destroy target card that does not share a color of clothing worn by its controller. You cannot choose an artifact or land. So this is really interesting. It does destroy a permanent, which is fine, uh, but it can't hit something that is sharing a color of clothing worn by its controller. So if your opponent is wearing green and the card has green on it uh, in terms of wardrobe, you can't kill it. But I guess it's efficient, right? It's it's only one mana for a sorcery. That's pretty good. Uh, I, I guess it's good. I, I don't know, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is going to be a weird one. Uh, double take. Instant for three and two blue. Choose another player. Draw two cards now and draw an additional two cards at the beginning of the next game with that player. Uh, this is counting on you, I guess, having another game with the next player, but this seems very, very bad. Uh, I would not do this. This just seems so bad. Uh, I don't know. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I could have better, uh, better information for you. Uh, double play is a sorcery for three and two green. Choose another player. Search your library for a basic land and put that land into play. At the beginning of the next game with that player, search your library for an additional basic land and put that land into play. In both cases, sh shuffle your library afterwards. Very similar to double take in that, uh, and my, my assumption is double take, double play. This has to be a cycle. That's my guess. Uh, but uh, it's really interesting because it does something for you in this game, but it costs a lot of mana. Uh, but then in the next game with that player, you actually get a huge buff off the start of the game. So it's kind of like a long-term uh, investment. I, I don't know how good they are. Uh, I feel like this is cool if you know you're going to be playing a second game with that person. So that's good, I guess. Uh, but other than that, I feel like it's not. So I, I have no idea. Uh, Chaos Confetti. Very cool. So... Uh, it's an artifact for four mana, uh, pay four and tap it and tear it into pieces. Throw the pieces onto the playing area from a distance of at least five feet. Destroy each card in play that a piece touches. Remove the pieces from the game afterwards. Uh, this is really cool because this is a spoof on the, uh, chaos orb, whatever it is, where you flip the orb or you flip the card, it lands on something and then whatever it lands on actually gets destroyed. So it's very, very similar. This is obviously technically more powerful, I guess, because it can hit more stuff, but you do have to tear up the card, which kind of sucks. Uh, obviously, you could represent it, but with something else. But if we were drafting, I guess this would be the pick. This is very, very powerful. Uh, so we'll see what the rest of the card or the deck or the pack, excuse me, holds. Uh, double cross, another one of this cycle. Sorcery, three and two black. Choose another player, look at their hand and choose one of the cards uh, other than a basic land, that he or she discards that card and at the beginning of the next game with that player, look at their hand, choose one of the cards other than a basic land, they discard that card. Uh, so very similar to a Thoughtseize, uh, but you kind of get two activations again if there's another game. I still like the Chaos Confetti more, that's just a very powerful card, so we're gonna skip over that. Uh, Chicken Egg is a 0-1 for one and a, gr and a uh, red, excuse me, during your upkeep, Roll a six-sided die. On a six, you sacrifice it and put a giant chicken into play. Treat this as a 4-4 red creature that counts as a chicken. This is so interesting. I love these unsets. Uh, this actually seems silly and kind of okay. It's very bad as a two-drop, obviously. But, I mean, at the beginning of your upkeep, you get to potentially get a 4-4. It's long-term investment. That seems like what this set is based around. Uh, it's silly. I don't think it's very, very good, to be honest. Uh, it's still a 0-1 for two. And then on top of that, it's a 4-4 four, four 
maybe uh it, it's very very hit or miss so not super excited by that uh uncommon checks and balances it's an enchantment for two and a blue whenever any spell is played counter that spell if each player other than the caster and his or her teammates agrees to choose and discard a card those players must discard those cards after agreeing checks and balances may be played only in a game with three or more players so obviously this is dependent on whether or not you're playing with multiple people but if you are seems kind of cool you get to play the politics game uh and i think that's actually really interesting because you can say you can say well i'll i'll counter this if you guys will counter this if it's a really big play you'll probably agree and then you can just start countering a bunch of stuff obviously if everybody can't discard a card that makes this worse uh but i still think that's pretty powerful i feel like this would be really really funny and like a joke commander uh setting or something like that where it's multiplayer inherently be a lot of fun there uh i still like chaos confetti i just feel like that's super powerful uh but yeah this is a very cool card uh jumbo imp is a zero zero for two and a black it has flying uh when you play it roll a six-sided die uh, it comes into play with a number of 1-1 counters on it equal to the die roll, which is pretty cool. Uh, during your upkeep, roll a six-sided die and put uh, put on Jumbo Imp a number of plus one plus one counters equal to the die roll. Pretty good also. At the end of your turn, roll a six-sided die and remove that many 1-1 num uh, counters equal to the die roll. So that's interesting. I really like this card, actually. I think that this is good. I think this is definitely worth playing. Obviously, you get not only the original buff, but you also get uh the the second one during your upkeep i feel like that that's worth it uh it could die at the end of your first turn most likely that's where it has the highest probability of dying uh but after that i feel like you actually have a pretty good chance of keeping it around for a while so if you can get past that first turn i feel like this is a really good card don't know if it's better than chaos confetti uh i would still take the confetti i think just because it's silly uh and you get to destroy a ton of stuff which would be fun uh but this is honestly probably a better card so we'll keep that here for now uh timmy the power gamer uh, is a one one for two and two green you can pay for and put a creature into play from your hand very powerful obviously interesting ability you just literally get to play creatures uh for in, for four mana so it doesn't matter how how or what their cmc is you just get to play them I suppose this is probably the correct pick, uh, so I guess we'll go with that. Uh, and then we do have the Unglued Lands, which if you have not seen, they are beautiful. Absolutely love these. Teresa Nielsen did that. Uh, absolutely beautiful art. But I guess Timmy the Power Gamer is the pick. Honestly, I have no idea. I could be very, very wrong about that, so feel free to let me know in the comment section below. This is a really fun pack to open. Never gotten to open one of these before, so happy to do it on video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Crack-A-Pack episode.